I know the truth is that I'm on my own in this life. I gotta be ruthless, I know my opponents is right. What is it that I got left in my tank? Bet on myself with the rest of my bank. This passion and hatred, I smash it and break it. And I got my anger and effort to thank. What is it deeper that's driving me further? I couldn't sleep, I was high from the fur. But haven't you heard? I got a nerve, I got a knack for surviving the murder. I'm Murder Death Kill Club, what's good? Let's get lit tonight. Got my guest with us tonight, Rob Marsh. What's good, brother? What up, fucker? <laughs> so, uh, what you been up to since you've been kind of out of the game a little bit, bro? <laughs> Powerlifting and working. That's it. Just living the dream, huh? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Let's see if this thing's filling up a little bit here. Got a few people in, I see. <clears throat> I guess uh, I'll just start off by asking you, bro, how how long you actually been wrestling? I guess besides death matches, but just all in the in the game altogether. Um, started training in 2004, and I got out of it. Oh my god, so long! I can't even remember half the shit now. I started full time 2007. Who uh, who trained you? Did you go to school or anything? Yeah, Maverick Wild. Maverick Wild, Jeff Costa, Mike Valancourt, school over here in uh, Nashville, New Hampshire. And how long were you in that? Quite a while. I was there for like nine months. Right on. Um, did you ever do like any amateur wrestling or MMA shit or like any just like fights in the street shoot style shit or whatever? Stupid shit. Mostly yeah. at backyard for quite a while. I'm not going to lie. I used to have – I used to, uh, I made a ring when I was younger. And legit, I just fucking always wrestled. Everybody knew me in high school for being the fucking backyard wrestling kid. I had ECW shirts every day in school and shit like that. Like, that's pretty much it. Like, it's fucking been wrestling, wrestling, wrestling. Long time fan, me too. I got a quick shirt collection myself. Um, do you always wrestle under the Rob Marsh name, or did you ever wrestle any other oh, yeah. gimmicks? Nope, never. Always Rob Marsh, always. How'd you come up with the name? My middle name's Robert, so I took Rob, and I was named after my grandfather. He was a war veteran, and his uh, main name's his name's Rob Marsh. Like that's his name. Like so, I I just took it. I ran with it. Right on. Um, I know you've done some tag team work in in a uh, your wrestling career too. You prefer singles work or tag work? Um. Honestly, it depends. Like with not like with not doing death matches, bro. Honestly, I could say like, what do you think about the show last night? Was, is he full of shit? Oh, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> the Donnie dude. We'll but talk no, about I, Donnie shit already. Oh, dude, yeah, the fucking I had a feeling, but no, um, I had a blast doing death matches, but it got to the point where I had a lot more fun not doing as much work. And so I got to say, like, legit tag team was fun. Like, I, I don't mind tag team. I didn't branch out as much as I did when I did single shit. But I'll have to admit, I, I might I don't know. I think the best thing that I did was death matches. That's just my personal opinion. Oh, what, uh, what's your favorite tag team partner? You, uh, had, you were part of Arrow Violence for a while, right? Uh, yeah, it will all, always always be Bill Vox. Always. Um, was, like, WWE or TNA, Ring of Honor, any of those, like, ever a goal? Uh, Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor for the most part when I was younger. And then once I got into, like, the CCW shit, it was a wrap. And it was death matches right off the, right off the bat. Like. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Did uh, you ever get a tryout with R ROH at all or no? Uh, I did um those camps. Right and shit like that. It was nothing ever like serious. I, I didn't think I would ever get in there. I didn't have the transportation at the time to fucking go all the way to Philly and all that shit. Right on. Um, who who do you think's uh, the biggest name you've ever worked? <sighs> Probably New Jack. When did you wrestle him and where? I wrestled him at Primer Primer Inc. And I think it, I don't know. It could have been Waterville, Maine. It was one. It was one of those fucking bumfuck cities in uh. Main, <laughs> like he said, nobody, nobody had balls to wrestle him, so I pretty much just raised my hand and said, "Fuck it, I'll do it," and that's pretty much it. 
after that, it was like the fact that I could show that I went down and nobody was going to fight fucking New Jack and I did it. And I, pretty much from there, it's been straight death matches. He pretty cool to work with or what? Easy as fuck. Probably yeah. one of the easiest workers I've ever worked in my life. Like, bar none. Fucking probably one of the coolest dudes I've ever. Like, all these people have horror stories about him, but not me. Can't say one bad thing about him. Right on. That's cool. So, um, you ever done, like, Mexico or Canada? No. I'm a refugee from Canada, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I can't Show even go in there. I, I made the mistake of going in there. Um, well, I didn't make the mistake. I was just in the backseat. We were going to Horror Slam. And uh, where they took it, my buddy's girl ended up taking the wrong turn and went right to the fucking border, bro. And I ended up um, <clears throat> going, obviously, there. Do you watch the death hour? Yes, I do. Um, but, yeah, friggin', we ended up going to Canada and shit. And then all of a sudden they said they could have kept me because I was on parole. It was like, like a fugitive. Like, I was like, damn, holy fuck. But, like, they understood that I was in the backseat and shit like that. And I didn't plan to fucking go to Canada. Like, yeah, we told them where, where we're going and shit like that. And yeah, it's pretty much it from there. Fucking I, in Mexico, no, I never went. I've always been, I've been a felon, felon for quite a while, so I can't really leave. You put the outlaw in outlaw mode show, bro. <laughs> nah, dude, yeah, pretty much. Uh, dude, I, like, I was all about Zona. Like, dude, that shit was so wild. I was like, dude, like, I'm all about that. What's my favorite? Dude. Go my ahead. Favorite. What's up? Go ahead, bro. Oh, what's your favorite death match? Well, stipulation? Like, what is it? Like, one I've done? Like, because I, I don't guess, know. I guess on somebody you worked, what's your favorite, favorite match you've ever worked, I guess? <coughs> probably Louis, uh, probably Low Life Louis at, um, On Point. I actually just watched that match today. It was badass, too. Yeah, we stapled the fuck out of each other, bro. That was ridiculous. Got some plates and all that good shit. I liked it. Those oversized dollar bills too were pretty funny too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, what's the, what do you think the coolest place you ever worked in? Coolest, probably. Ah, oh, fuck. Like honestly, I think my like I can't even say for biggest show. Like, cause I wrestled uh, Tree. Honestly, the most fulfilling moment was I wasn't even I was at the H two O Center, but I wrestled Tremont. And shit like that. And he said I could be a part of the H2O family. And that was pretty dope. Like, that was pretty cool. I wrestled him at Brawl in his building that he has over there. And we uh, did a thumbtack death match. And it was pretty decent. Like, I love working Matt. I couldn't say anything bad about it. Let's go down oh. yeah. Easy peasy, bro. That shit was probably one of my favorite matches that I've had. For which Slack. Slack's probably one of my favorite people in the professional wrestling business. Um, every time I was at a show, I was always sitting there, Slack, sitting next to Slack. Like, <clears throat> we definitely, I seem to get along with him really good. I, I don't like a lot of people talk about like hype and shit like that. And Slack, Slack's the real deal. Uh, I'll have to admit, Slack's some real shit. <laughs> I dig Slack too. Um, did you ever work? Did you ever work the ECW arena, bro? Or was that ever a goal of yours? Uh, it would be definitely a fucking, what's it called, uh, dream, but no. no. I never worked there. Right on. Um, you got any good rib stories right out the gate, I guess? Ribs? Oh, boy, uh, what up? Uh, what up, dude? Um, ribs? Uh, I, I would never really say ribs. I was more like, honestly, I guess I was a piece of shit. Like, I was more like, if stupid shit went on, I was more of a dickhead when I did stuff. I was never being like, oh, yeah, I'm going to rib you. Like, nah, fuck that. I was more of a piece of shit. And if anything came out of it, I was waiting for a fight. Like, I never really cared. Like, it was more the fact that, like, honestly, when it came to, like, the young kids, a lot of the dudes used to get picked on and shit like that. And I'm not, I'm not, there's no reason for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> New Jack, yeah. Yeah, he was something else. But, yeah, um. I just couldn't take it. I wasn't a fan of people getting picked on and shit like that. So I would do random shit. I take a shit in people's bags and shit like that. So <laughs> I, I just wouldn't care. You know, I was like, what are you going to do? Like, worst comes to worst, I don't need to be wrestling. I, I just find a lot of the people that are in the area that I'm at fucking straight pussies. I think they're straight fucking retarded. Like, I don't know. I don't like a lot of people. I think so. 
<laughs> you don't have to have your opinions, bro. Uh, what uh, do you think your worst yeah. injury is? Uh... Definitely my hand going through a table. Going through a table in a fucking small company in Manchester, New Hampshire for no money at all. And legit, I go through a table taking like an prettier off the apron. So I go down in the fucking, <clears throat> when it broke, the fucking, uh, what's it called? Um, the frame unraveled and went boom right through my hand, dude. And it was like stuck and I ripped it out. And then all my tendons were fucking hanging out and shit. Yeah, it was like a fucking horror movie, bro. It was, it was pretty bad. Like a shitload was like Pac-Man. It like cut, went from the bottom of my uh, pinky all the way to like the bottom of like, well, the top of my wrist. It was disgusting. And I, I look back and I'm like, dude, I found a still picture. That my boy had and i was like yo that's serious <laughs> it was wild i was like holy fuck how many stitches was that oh dude i can't even remember it was so much like fucking this shit happened dude it happened 2007 like <laughs> dude, like right when i started i don't know like uh i think it was 16 inside and then it was like 24 outside ouch dude oh um... yeah it's pretty brutal I was on morphine for, dude, they gave me morphine for like three months for that shit. Straight up. It was that bad. It was like, dude, it was like, you know, like when you open it, like when you bite into a fucking orange and shit like that and you see like the pulp of it. Yeah. That's what my hands look like. That's crazy, bro. It was gross. <laughs> it was fucking gross. But it could have been whatever. real bad. Uh, um, has there been any time, like, any promotion, I guess, any tournament, anything, I guess, where there was just, like, something fans bring the weapons where you just, like, were like, fuck that, dude, that is, like, just too stupid? No, not really, no. <laughs> I think I've done a lot of dumb shit where I just didn't give a fuck. Like, I just didn't. I didn't have a barrier. I, I, look, I look at some would you wrestle on midget? <laughs> I like seeing these pop up. It's funny. Yeah, some of them are pretty funny. Gigi would be proud of you. I love Gigi Allen, if that's who you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. All right, I guess I'll ask you, it could be, uh, what's the biggest bump you ever took, or I guess maybe the stupidest bump you ever took? Is that the uh, hand for me? I a picture of it. Fucking taking a Mishinoku driver on fucking butcher knives. Oh, dude. <laughs> yeah, legit. <laughs> Who'd you do that with? Peter B. Beautiful. Was that a horse slam? <laughs> yeah, for the deathmatch title. Fuck, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, have you ever done any of the no ring shit, or what's your thoughts on that kind of stuff? Uh, I, w I would do it. I would do anything, but now I'm not even doing anything with wrestling. But I would definitely do it. I, like, my, if I was still doing death matches, absolutely, I would have done it in a fucking heartbeat. You like Casanova though? He's a pretty good promo. I love him. He's a, he's good shit. I I talked to him when I was at H2O uh, when I went to H2O. Right on. Um, is there any any like notable belts that you've held that, like that anybody really know about? <laughs> I, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> like no, like I, I don't like, dude. I'm compared to other people, bro. Like I'm really like fucking. When I said like I was underground and shit like that, I really fucking am. Like I'm not like a well. Like yeah, I've dipped my name into tournaments. Yeah, I've dipped my name into some some shit. But I'm not like I'm not like a matrimon. I'm not a schlack. Yeah, I've been in the ring with him, but I'm not that caliber. I never got to that upper echelon of like shit. You got those dudes going to fucking Japan and all that. Like I never went to Japan. <laughs> Jesse Rosler wants to know if Peter's actually a total dick. Uh, when I first met him, I really didn't. Honestly, I just didn't really care for him at first. Like, yeah, he's a cool dude. Like, he's cool and shit, but like. I don't like it. He liked declined spots and shit like that when we were doing, like, we were, like, playing shit out. And it was just, and the whole match was just a dribbling shit, in my honest opinion. I thought the match was crap. Yeah, they had some good spots in it, but I just thought it was crap. And the fucking, the referee at Horror Slam at that time was a fucking complete idiot. Like, the guy shit, like, honestly, he was a fucking walking abortion. Like, <laughs> dude was fucking atrocious. And he was probably the worst, honestly, the worst fucking ref ever. We were supposed to have 15 to 20 minutes. The motherfucker cut us off at 8. And I'm just like, dude, like, it was just a shitstorm. It was just so fucking retarded. I was like, dude, it's... No. Is that yeah, the last Peter... time you worked with Horror Slam? What's that? Was that the last time you worked with Horror Slam? Uh, I, I think I... Yeah, I only went to Horror Slam. Yeah, I only went to Horror Slam once, I think, because I was there for... Uh... 
ERA and shit. Oh yeah, I have that belt. I, I would probably, yeah, that shit's in my room. Go it's get fine. that. Let's, you might as well bring it out. Let's see it. <laughs> Hold on, dude. <laughs> True Hollywood story time on the Death Hour tonight. We're going to hear the true story about this this title belt when Suez Marsh gets back. This story is hilarious. Just wait a second. Hold up. We're talking this beautiful shit. Look at that shit. Look, Here it look. is. The right, bro. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, <laughs> this is probably uh, going to be an infamous Death Hour moment. All right, bro. Lay the story on us. What's the deal with the belt? How come you still got it? Well, with this? Of how the guy talked mad shit. <clears throat> I couldn't even remember what the fuck he said because I have him blocked. I have him and his fucking uh, co-owner blocked or whatever the fuck. And uh, <clears throat> they were like talking shit with like the, the dude from uh, Horror Slam, fucking Briar, Briar or whatever. Uh, yeah, Briar Wilson. Briar his girl. And supposedly they wanted Chuck Stein to go over. And then he's telling me that he wants me to go over. And I was like, yo, I'm like, if anything, have Chuck over. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? This is, like, it's really not that big of a deal. And then he ends up fucking get it, giving me the belt because his co-owner wanted me to fucking win it. So they just kind of went with me winning it. A lot of people in Michigan had to fucking fuss about it because of I'm not a fucking Detroit, well, or I'm not a Michigan fucking talent. I'm a New England talent. So they're like, oh, you're going to pay for this dude that comes all the way from fucking New England to come here and defend your belt every month? Like, yeah, or every other month or some shit. And I was like, and it was just a big thing. Honestly, like, I do like, not like fucking, it. It was just stupid as fuck. And then they ended up saying they were going to have a show, have me go out there. And then all of a sudden the show didn't happen. <clears throat> and I just pretty much kept the fucking belt. And, <laughs> <laughs> and then like the dudes ended up talking shit again. It was like a couple weeks after. And what up, Chad, you little bitch ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Throw in the garbage like WCW. Fucking, I could. I, I don't know. I kind of want somebody to buy it. I, I'm fat. No, I'm fat. <laughs> just, Saul, you're a fucking dumbass fucking UK fuck. I'm just kidding. We could probably put it up on the uh, up on the up for grabs on the website after this. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, fucking. No, but uh, yeah, that was pretty much the fucking story of that. Like, they ended up talking shit, and then all of a sudden, one of them said, like, Oh, fuck. No, I ended up saying something on Facebook. It was like forever ago. And I was like, yo, fuck this belt. Like, who wants it? Because they told me that they didn't, they weren't, they ended up putting a status up and it said something about how they didn't want me to fucking, oh, he's not our champion, blah, blah, blah. We're making a new belt and we're going to determine a new one. And I'm like, yo, fuck you and your belt, bitch. Like, like <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, fuck that shit. I was like, but big fucking deal, bro. It's a belt. And I'm like, yo, this is the replica belt of that everybody has. All it is, legit, it's fucking acrylic paint that they painted over the world and put their fucking name on it. Like, it's it's nothing extraordinary what they were, like, making it out to be. Like, oh, we got custom belts, dude. And I'm like, ah, no, that's trash. But whatever, dude. And that's why I didn't care to keep it. I was like, you guys are going to hit me up over a fucking belt that you paid $300 for and you paint painted on it? Like, you're a fucking idiot. Like... <laughs> You mean to tell me that isn't legitly 16 pounds of solid gold, bro? <laughs> Honestly, I do not like it. Looks like the real deal to me, brother. Come on now. Uh, bro, it, it actually got some weight. Legit, it's probably like 8 to 9 pounds. Like, uh, Yeah, probably like 10 pounds. Is there, it's actually got some weight to it, bro. I'm not going to lie. Like, I was like, holy shit. But definitely not to 16 pounds. Besides, uh, dude, I've already been cut. I get cut at work, Chad. Like, <laughs> fucking, what are you talking about? Like, I don't fucking need to do death matches to get cut. I get cut enough. You, can you see that picture? <laughs> are you fucking up, Peter B, right now with the drill? Oh, yeah, I really did use the drill on that. Yeah. Yep, yep, I did. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Besides, uh, I guess, all the political bullshit up there, what, what else did you, did you really like the Detroit scene up there? Or what's your thoughts on it? Yeah, I did. I did. I had no problem with it. I liked Horror Slam. I liked the people there. Um, yeah, Ray was weird. That was a weird experience, I have to say. That was pretty fucking weird. And I think it was the only two shows I did. 
<clears throat> I like the people. I like I like Briar, Briar Wellington, or whatever. He's fucking cool shit. He's wicked cool. Um, yeah, other than that, really didn't, like, there wasn't too, too much people at that show. Like, it was pretty much just, like, when it came to, like, deathmatch shit, it was only me and Peter. So, it wasn't anything, like, really crazy. Right on. You work Chuck's, uh, Chuck up there, right, too? Yeah, for ERA. I wrestled him and Peter in a three-way. Right on. That get pretty stupid or what? Uh, it was all right. It was pretty fucking, like, every other deathmatch, like, when we ended up having the fucking tubes and shit. Go back to Horror Slam. <laughs> All we did was fuck. We did a simple fucking. You take a two, I take a two. We fucking just kept smashing, and then pretty much from there, it was just a fucking clusterfuck of a three way. Right on. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Tube City. <laughs> um, you worked out at H two O a few times. Um, I guess uh, what what's your overall thoughts of the H two O experience out there, and what do you really think about uh Matt as a promoter? Matt is a fucking shit. I love everything about Matt Tremont. Matt Tremont's always been fucking cool to me. Like, so I can't really say anything bad. Like, honestly, H2O, like, I loved H2O even with the gauntlet where I was at. Like, fucking, I didn't win, whatever. But, like, I was in a gauntlet. And, like, dude, it was like, like, when I came out, people fucking cheered for me. I was like, holy fuck. Like, I didn't think, like, because that was my debut. I, I, I didn't, I only did uh, H2O once. I, I only did it one time. So, like, um, I was down at Brawl. They ran out of there uh, at a match building, and I was there. I wrestled Devin Moore there, and then I wrestled Tremont. And then after that match, Tremont said that he wants me to be part of the H2O family, and I was like, "Fuck yeah!" I'm like, "Whatever you need me." And then I went down to that show, and everything was good. I wasn't gonna go back for a couple months or some shit. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did do that. <laughs> take the tube, you take a tube. So, um, you, you've got good things to say about, uh, H2O and they've always treated you good. Oh, uh, H2O was great. Yeah. Cause when I was at Brawl, like fucking Matt ended up uh, saying he wanted me to part, be a part of it. And then all of a sudden I did my match there. Uh, and, um, it was fine. Like it was good. I was supposed to go back in a couple months and then some shit went down and it was just met like my mental shit. I was just like, yeah, I'm good. Like, Shit with a girlfriend, like she don't like me doing deathmatch and stuff like that. Like my kid was all like, I was coming back to battered all the time, all the time. Like to the point where I was just like, yeah, it's affecting my work. It's uh, like, and it's just uh, honestly to me with the the money, it's just not worth it. Like, yeah, I know a lot of people say the love, but when I'm sitting there fucking tending to my cuts more than I'm working and making money for my family kind of don't really give a flying fuck. Uh, like, it, like, it was a ho- like, honestly, it's a hobby to me. I was like, it wasn't like I was making WWE money, you know what I mean? So I can't really fucking be like, oh, yeah, I fucking did this, that, and this. And I was like, eh, not really. I don't really have anything to show for it. Nothing but scars, yeah, stories that are kind of cool, but all this shit, like, I fucking look at, like, I'm doing, I'm still in an apartment. Like, for what I put in my through my body, I feel like I should have a lot more. But that's just my personal sure. opinion. Right. ICW. What about ICW? <laughs> um, I tried to go there and it never worked out. <laughs> Just seems like the the funds were not like. In all honesty, like who really wants a fucking scrub from fucking New England to go down and fucking only take like hundred fifty dollars for paydays? I know I don't. Like fucking fuck that. All right, well, on the scrub thing, kind of, right? I was just going to ask you, well, how, how was it working with Matt? I mean, not just scrubs work with Matt Tremont, bro. Come on. I mean, that had to be something. I mean, what did you think about working with him? Uh, it, it was perfectly fine. It, honestly, some of the easiest matches I've done were Tremont. I just, that's just my personal opinion on myself, because, like, a lot of people are like, yo, you should be in a lot more places than you are. But my mouth and the way I am is definitely fucking burnt some bridges, which I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Like, this shit. I'm like, you can drop it and go back to it anytime you fucking want. Like, it's it's just to the point where I just don't get, like, I just, it, too much politics. It's just, I'm not, I'm not about that shit. I'm just, I'm just not. I can't stand it. I think it's fucking trash. Yeah. Politics fuck up a lot of shit. Oh, um, no. You worked uh, at Unholy for, like, uh, Raven Havoc, too, right? Oh, uh, yeah. I wrestled Colt 45. What's uh what's your thoughts on uh Raven Havoc as a booker, I guess, and him as a worker? Oh dude, I, I love everything about Raven Havoc. He's good people's I was talking to him a lot prior to like going there and doing that match with Colt. And then every like dude, once I like I fell off, like fucking dude, nobody really kept in touch. But yeah, other than that, uh 
I'd have to say Ra Raven's good shit. Raven's good shit, and I like my match with Colt. So I can't really say anything like bad. It's good people. What do you think about Colt Forty Five coming back on the scene now? You got good things to say about him. Would you work him again? Oh, I'd work Colt every day of my life. I heard you guys uh, used a bunch of Gustus in that fucking match and kind of got nuts. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it did. <laughs> um. Another promotion, I guess, I don't think people talk enough about. Um, you worked at On Point, right? Survival of the Sickest, right? Yeah. Actually, I worked I worked On Point twice. Because I, I did the match with Louie, and Louie uh, wanted me to be a part of it. And then I got to be a part of it. And then it was, I went out in the first round. Well, after... What the fuck was I saying? No, like, uh, when I went to Survival of the Sickest, I wrestled G Raver and Devin Moore in the first round and lost uh, Raver. Understandable. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Raver's right. good shit. How was it working with him, dude? Oh, fucking phenomenal. I can't wait to see him back in action, man. Fucking, okay. dude, he, he kills Raver. it with everybody. Raver is the fucking balls. Whole fucking dick and balls. <laughs> the bees knees as they say <laughs> um i guess uh you worked out at iwa mid south right was it first uh, guardian show against bryant woods i think no i did uh, so you want to be a deathmatch car uh scar <laughs> so you want to be a deathmatch star and i went to the finals of that tournament with uh jc rotten right on um how how was that experience it was fucking dope, dude. I wouldn't think I would go to the finals in my first fucking tournament. Honestly, I didn't think that. I was like, holy fuck. If the rejects were actually pushing for me to win the whole thing and shit like that. And fucking it didn't happen. Obviously, fucking Ian Rotten put his son over. Uh, oh, figures. You know what I mean? Like It, it was a, it was kind of like ah, figures moment. You know what I mean? Because like, oh, uh, yeah. That's just my personal opinion. I'm just like, oh, uh, yeah, it makes sense. His son, yeah, he's here. I'm sure he's going to win, too. Like, <laughs> so I, that's how I interpret it. So. They treated you all right, though? You didn't fuck you over or anything? I, I was fine the whole time there. So you pretty cool with the rejects, then, or what? Yeah, I, I love everything about him. I like, dude, I can't, like, honestly, like, all the deathmatch people I've met in the wrestling business are some of the best people I've ever fucking, like, chilled with or anything. I don't even know what No Holds Barred is. And what else was, did that other fan say? Um, what are your thoughts on Alex? I love Alex, bro. Dude, would you take on Nabi if you think he's ever going to make it over to the States? That yeah. fucker's crazy. Bro, I wanted to work him. That was actually a thought. When fucking they were going to do the next Carnage Cup, fucking Kevin Brennan wanted to bring him over, over there here, and I was going to fucking fight him. Like, yeah, dude, it was straight fucking facts. Like, you can even, if that kid was watching right now, fucking... No, like it was gonna be me and him, and I was like, "Bro, let it fucking happen." And at that point, I really fucking... like at that point in my career, legit. I, I don't know if Chad's still watching. He hasn't said shit, so I have no idea what he's doing. But like, uh, he was obviously there, and legit, nobody was. I said it in the car car rides plenty of times. There was nobody in the death machine as fucked up as me at one point. There, were, there wasn't. That's Slavic my mother there was fucker. And like, I, I was doing everything. And then when it got to the point where I ended up going to, um, when I did ERA, I ended up fucking, like, didn't want to do a spot. And I'm like, nah, dude. It got to a point where it was just getting to be too much. Like, it's just, I, I hit a fucking wall and I was like, dude, I'm good with that. <laughs> like, dude, I'm just good. Well, I mean, shoot style, baby. That show just happened, man. I guess, I, I guess Deep South is kind of a little bit on the rise. I mean, there's maybe a little rumor and speculation that Carnage Cup might be back. I mean, uh, if Brandon asked you, would you do it? No, I'm not doing any of those matches. I'm all set. I would never, like, I'm, I'm all fucking set. I'm not losing a family and shit over fucking deathmatch wrestling. Like, yeah, I did it, but... I like don't get me wrong. I love Deathmatch Wrestling, but I can't even tell you the last time I watched the full GCW show. Any any of them for that matter. And like, oh, yeah, I stopped, and honestly, it's a bit. It's a love fucking hate, dude. Like, and it sucks because like, I, obviously, I'm gonna want to do it, but a lot of times, like, it's just not like politically. I was just, I'm not really into it because I get too personal 
and I don't want to do that. I've done a lot of dumb things in my life, and I don't feel like I'm, like going back to prison. It's just not fucking worth it. Nobody's worth that fucking prison bid, honestly. This business is not worth it. So I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're still kind of on the IWA topic. Yeah. Um, how is it working with Bryant Woods, dude? He's kind of fallen off the map now. What's it like oh, working dude, with him? Like, no. that, too. That motherfucker, like, legit, he was at on the, the no. Holy Show that I was at, and, like, he just fell off the face of the planet. He wrestled that Brad, yeah, he wrestled Brad no. Cash, and then, like, legit, there was, like, I haven't heard shit about no. Brian Woods after that show. I was like, oh, wow, like, that's kind of weird. Like, I don't, I don't get it. But, yeah, Brian Woods, yeah, that match, was, honestly, I think he overpowered that match way too much. Like, a lot of, like, uh, with him, like, he was more, like, uh, he's always wanted to put himself over. Always wanted, it was him, 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 him. And, like, honestly, I just started not to give a fuck. So, I was just like, dude, I'll take a beating. In all honesty, he's bigger than me. Like, he'd probably, like, I don't know if he'd beat Mass in real life. But it just came to the point where I was just like, dude, I, it's fucking stupid. Like, it's just, like, a lot of people just try to get their shit out. Like, and it's just fucking stupid. I honestly, I think... The right, like the wrestling in general is just a lot of egotistical fucks. A lot of people don't think about the show; they just want to get their shit in, and I think that's bitch made shit. Like that's just personally me. I'll take a beating. I've said like I've I've taken a beating fucking more than a lot of people because I, it just doesn't make. I don't know. It's a lot of topics on that. I'm not even trying to fucking get into. It. I'd be here forever. But yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, club probably, wants to know how you came up with the Nerf gun. The Nerf gun. Uh, that was all Chad Epic, to be honest. Like that was mostly all him. Like I just used it. Yeah, you wrestle and I handle the politics. I don't even wrestle, bro. I don't have the time for that shit now. I really don't. Um, speaking of Chad Epic, I guess. Uh, how did you ever get hooked up with Chad Epic, bro? And kind of give us uh, the story of Rated R, the rise and fall. <laughs> Bro, I'm the one that got Chad Epic into doing independent shows because I was already doing shows in Rhode Island and he wasn't doing it. Uh, he was just doing some shit up here. And he pretty much just rode, uh, rode the fucking boat after because I ended up going to prison and then he ended up fucking taking it. You know what I mean? Like, he, was, he just kept going and he hasn't stopped. So, good for him. You know what I mean? Good for him. Um, they were going to run a deathmatch tournament, like, what was that, two summers ago or whatever, and a bunch of no-shows and a bunch of bullshit happened. What happened all with that show and that big disaster? What was all up with that, bro? Oh, the, uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> I think it's hilarious because he's probably going to be watching it. Oh, my phone fucking has to die, but yeah. <laughs> That's all, bro. No holds barred. Don't hold oh, that. Dude, oh, man, I'm the perfect person for this shit. That's what's cool. Like, even, like, the death hour, I'm like, yo, if it goes over a little bit, I don't give a fuck. Like, dude, I, don't, I have nothing fun. I'm just working tomorrow. But, yeah, oh, my God, bro. That show was a fucking disaster. Like, honestly, it sucks because, like, it, it changed buildings so many times. Um, What else? Fucking people dropping out of it. You got fucking Nick Gage and fucking who else? Nick, Nick Gage, Devin, and Drew Blood came. And, <laughs> like, mad late. They were, like, an hour and a half, two hours late to the show. Like, dude, it was wild. I gotta itch my fucking back. Wicked bad. But, yeah, the, oh, they were mad late and shit. And, I don't know. It was just, it was just a complete fuck schmoz. Like, that's all I can say. Like, I don't even, like, I don't even have to get into details. It was fucking poop. <laughs> um. I think a little while back you said um, Rated R was going to do some more shows, maybe possibly coming up soon. Uh, yeah, I don't know what happened with that. Chad would be a better person for that. I haven't done shit, bro. Like, I don't, like, legit, my last show was in September. Right on. Um, invite, like, on. <laughs> invite me on and we can talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to have a follow-up, bring Chad on with us. Um, right. old school deathmatch wise, like FMW, Japan, all the old school CZW, IWA stuff, ECW stuff. Any of that shit, what uh, what kind of in- influenced your career and what kind of, um, you know, kind of mo- helped mold Rob Marsh? Honestly, I was a big high boot. I, I used to like FMW quite a bit because that kind of, like, branched out from uh, ECW and shit like that. Like, the ECW versus FMW DVDs are some of the ones that I fucking followed, and I was a big fucking fan of high boots. And obviously Terry Funk and shit like that. 
But I was bigger on Hayabusa for quite a while, so I'd have to say Hayabusa would probably be like quite a, quite a bit of an inspiration to me. Like when I was younger, when I could actually pull off high, high flight and shit like him. But I ended up getting bigger and I couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, no, not happening. Not worth the risk. Right. Um, so we were kind of, you kind of mentioned Zona 23 before in the junkyard. Um, I love that what, shit, dude. It's so rugged. Um, what, what's kind of your thoughts on the setting of the junkyard versus like us running buildings up here? Honestly, I think it's a little bit more reckless. Like, it looks so much more reckless. It looks like it's run by a cartel. Like, <laughs> like legit. It shit looks fucking crazy. Jesus. But, like, just the reactions, because, like, I knew how crazy I could get, like, when I was doing death matches. So, when I looked at Zona, it was a completely different fucking story. I was like, yo, Zona is fucking awesome. But I'd have no f- problem diving off a truck and fucking going into a car, having the windows blow out and shit. I wouldn't give a fuck. Like, dude, I, I was all about it. And now... It sucks, like, even thinking about it because it's just like, dude, I can't do it. So it's like, fuck that. Like, it sucks because I really like that shit. I really Kind of like you said, dude, I think that junk air just has stupid potential written all over it. There's just, like, destruction fucking everywhere. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I, I, I Dude, that's probably one of my favorite things. That's, like, but the, the whole thing is, like, I wouldn't even be able to go to Mecca. Like, I don't know if I would even be able to like, go. I have no idea. Like, that's more of a... Uh, something i would try to figure out like because i i know some countries do take felons but <clears throat> i don't know if they're one of them I, I know they probably fucking search me up and down when i go but whatever i don't know i thought i heard john wayne murdoch say that it wasn't even really that hard to get across the border you might be able to pull it off bro yeah um yeah I mean, i'm canada dude that shit was a fucking disaster right <laughs> <laughs> like fucking horrible so so let's let's just throw uh, the felon thing out the book and like let's say you could go out of the country or or you were still working international wise like any Japanese guys or like would you ever work like Violento Jack or anybody who would you want to work fucking everybody I'd work everybody I would try to do a tour of freedoms I'd try to do a tour of fucking big Japan I would do I'd try to do all of it if I had the opportunity to do it right on um. How do you think GCW is going to do down in the junkyard? Do you think that shit's going to get wild or what? Oh, of course. Absolutely, dude. GCW is probably some of the most ridiculous shit I've watched. Like, probably ever. Like, some of the death matches there, I was like, damn, dude. Like, they're they're kicking that shit off to a new fucking level. <laughs> like, And trust me, I wanted to be there at one time. And it's just... Some of the shit they pull off is just fucking... Even things that I, like, I don't know, like, I can't even tell you, like, some shit I wouldn't even fucking want to do anymore. I look at it, I'm like, yeah, dude, I'm good. Like, fucking dude, like, the saw, like, the saw bleeds and shit like that, people, like, nah, I'm good. After I saw Takeda's back, dude, I was like, good choice on a fucking career path. Like, I'm so, like, I was like, nah, dude, nah. Yeah, Not dude. worth it when you... That cut on his back was pretty brutal. That's yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I used to do shit like that, and I look at it now, and I'm like, honestly, like, then I went, nah, not worth it. Like, if I was just doing it, like, honestly, if I was just a deathmatch wrestler, it can be completely fucking different. Like, but when you have, like, when I have kids at the house, like, I have a fucking, real, like, if wrestling was paying me what I think I should have been getting paid for doing some of the dumb shit I did, and getting more bookings, it legit, it would be a completely different story. No. I probably, I honestly, I probably would have been injured like no. three more times already since that whole song show. Uh, like, honestly. Like. All right. No. Um, I guess kind of along those lines of getting paid, which you think you, you no. should get paid. What's uh, what's the worst payday anybody's tried giving you for a fucking deathmatch? Nothing. 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 Nothing at all. Yeah. You know, there's always shicey ass motherfuckers. They're like, in the business, bro. It's like, it's just, it's. I don't even remember some of the promoters because, like, legit, I've worked for so many fucking companies on one-offs. And, like, there's actually this place in uh, New York. Can you remember, like, ECPW or some shit? East Coast Professional? I don't know, something like that. And we, like, we ended up going there and, like, yo, they ended up fucking, like, a mad heads went. I think it was, like, me, Chad, Billy, and, like, we wrestled this fucking team. Oh, what the fuck? I can't even remember their fucking name. I just know they're drizzling shit. Like, fucking, I can't remember. 
You see this question, Raven Havoc wants to know why he's still terrible. <laughs> he's not fucking terrible. Stop being emo, you little fucking queer bait. <laughs> I think he's a guy on the rise, somebody to watch, dude. Fucking, yes. I definitely dig his work. Yes, he's so good. Who is your deathmatch idol? <laughs> Honestly, with the crazy shit, uh, I... What like I I know I've gone off and been like oh yeah fucking Terry Funk Terry Funk but like legit like when it comes to like stepping it up a notch it's always fucking Ben June Kasai that dude is so fucking ridiculous he was definitely one of my favorites for quite a long time and I loved Thumbtack Jack I can uh, kind of respect Thumbtack Jack for um some of the crazy shit that he's done but if you watch some of his stuff he's pretty sloppy on a lot of stuff too bro. No, I didn't. I like. I just didn't. I don't know. I just liked him because he's fucking crazy, pretty much. <laughs> crazy monkey's fucking awesome though, too. I mean, you can't uh, deny Kasai. No, not at all. <laughs> um, what's kind of your thoughts about uh the West Coast scene? Like, I don't say people that really look down on it or anything, but like nobody really talks about the West Coast scene too much. Um, what do you think about some of the guys out there? Anybody you'd want to work out there? You think it's shit out there? Or? Uh, I never really got it too much into it. I know JD Good was over there, and he he was uh, tag team champions with fucking um, homeless Jimmy at one time. It's just I don't know. Like some of the buildings look way too small to even have death matches in. That's my personal opinion. But like a lot of it, like it didn't like really look like they had mad people there. You know what I mean? It did, honestly, in my personal opinion, like it kind of does. Like some of them look like shit if there's no tournament. Like, if it's not a tournament, I, I, I yeah, it doesn't, it looks like every other indie show that dudes are doing hardcore shit in. You know what I mean? Like, it's nothing like, oh my god, like, but if it's a tournament, it's good. But if you yeah. look at it when it's a regular show, it's, it's I don't think it's anything spectacular. Right. So. Kind of got the same feeling about it. Um, Did you watch XPW back in the day at all? Oh, absolutely. Of course I did. Right. Supreme and them guys, they were pretty good back in the day. Yeah, pretty good shit. I used to like Kid Chaos, too. Right. I think um, they're involved with Crimson Cup still, I think. And I think um, they're putting on some shit now. Still out in California, I believe. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't really follow. I haven't seen anything on Crimson in legit. I can't even tell you. Like, probably over a year. Right. Um, speaking of California, what do you think about Mr. California? Would you ever fight that fool? No, I think he's the fucking blood clot. He's a fucking straight, like, dude. He's the drizzling shits. I heard nothing but fucking horror stories about him. And, like, when you watch his videos, I'm like, oh, my fucking God. Like, horrible. Honestly, I think it was fucking atrocious. Like, there was, like, eight people in the fucking crowd, and, like, he's his own favorite wrestler. Like, I know you might have to feel like fucking that to do shit, but, like, honestly, like, that dude was fucking, honestly, like, a fucking dirty diaper. Like, fucking nothing. He's worked a lot of big names. I I wondered a lot of times, how much is he paying everybody, bro? Because he you, paid for them to fucking fight serious? him. That's it. That right. motherfucker saved money from his taxes and fucking paid people to fucking fight him. Right. And he didn't go anywhere else but California. Because that motherfucker had to pay people for them to fight. No, fuck that. Like, the dude's a fucking boon. Are you, Eric wants to know how he's working serious? in Deep South. I know uh, you had mentioned to me that you didn't really have a problem with Kevin, but you can no. t- tell it. I- you, I, I had no problem, honestly. I had a fucking blast. That was a fucking great experience. And a lot of people shit on it, but my personal experience, I was good with it. I got the wrestle, uh, I got the wrestle slack, and I got paid right when I showed up. I didn't even wrestle; I was already paid. Um, the ride down there was fucking dope. I got to chill with fucking JD Good and my buddy. And it was fucking good experience, bro. Like honestly, and I got booked a lot. I, I think a lot of my match went slack is the reason why I got booked in more death matches. As time went on after that. That match was pretty brutal, dude. I remember a spot in that match where you went through the wire, dude, and you hit the ground, dude. I thought for sure you were knocked the fuck out. <laughs> no, I was good. <laughs> <laughs> that was sure. fun. Everybody that's been at that camp carnage, bro, dude, somebody's got everybody's got crazy stories about that campground, dude. There's gotta be something that you could share about it. Oh dude, fucking Marcus Crane was so fucking drunk. It was outrageous. And I ended up oh man. Whoa. Me and Chewy Martinez, bro, smoked so much fucking weed that day. It was un-fucking-believable. 
Like, it was just kept going and going and going and going. Because he was just chilling. Like, and so, like, everybody there, like, it was like a fucking hemp fest, bro. So, everybody <laughs> was burning. So, we're, I'm fucking like that, bro. It, it's, it was just a disaster. Like, dude, working under the influence, yeah, that's exactly the fucking conclusion of that whole fucking show. <laughs> Where like, Look, I, I had a fucking blast. That was one of the best experiences in my fucking wrestling career, dude. I, I, I have nothing against fucking Deep Go. Right on. Um, kind of speaking to Chewy, um, he's known as kind of a juggalo wrestler. You got the hatchet man tat, right? Are you a juggalo? I got fucking wrong leg on the camera. Yeah, got it right there. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, don't would you really, I don't follow anything about ICP at all anymore. Honestly, like in my personal opinion, I think they're kind of fucking doo doo. <laughs> um, I, I don't. I just don't think their music's great. I like Twisted and shit. The only reason why I got pretty much this shit when I was younger is because of Twisted. It was never ICP. It never gave a fuck, really. Right on. Would you ever work JCW? Oh, of course. Of course. You ever been to the Gathering? No. No. I heard that shit gets pretty fucking wild, too. I've never been to one. Yeah, I wanted to go, but every, every, every time I was supposed to go, <laughs> planes went down the shitter. Um, What do you think about that superhuman kid? He's f- doing it for all the juggalos and juggalettes. He, he's a fucking weirdo, but good for him for fucking getting noticed, bro. Like, he's doing something right. Can't, even, can't it, I hate when people are like, oh, he's part of a wrestling show, blah, blah, blah. Like, who gives a fuck, bro? Like, they're paying him, like, he, like, they're paying him to be at the show. Like, why are people, like, when I see everybody getting jealous about that shit, I'm like, dude, stop being a little fucking whiny bitch. Like, dude, it's fucking horrible. Like, at the end of the day, wrestling's entertainment. You know what I mean? Like, that's just how it is. Like, it's entertainment. Sorry to tell ya. Like, stupid. What's, uh, your thoughts on the infamous Mr. Jim Cornette? I think he's a fucking loser. Piece of shit. Mm-hmm. You know, I as much as, just, much as he make sense. How does it make any sense from a dude that was in a fucking match and he fell off a scaffold and broke both of his legs? You know what I mean? Like, yo, you you were in a fucking scaffold match and you're the one that fucking fell off. You retard. You know what I mean? Like, you're an idiot. Like, you can't say anything. Like, you're a fucking idiot. Right. He t- he hates on it so much. It's almost like he secretly plugs it. He just doesn't want everybody to know he loves it. Yeah, for real. Um, what's your thoughts on backyard wrestling? Hey, if you're going to do it, fucking go for it. Uh, hey, you ain't harming my life with it. So I don't care if kids want to fucking interact and like want to fucking, you know, as long as they're not shooting up schools and fucking doing dumb shit and you want to fucking wrestle. Oh yeah, well, you're going to get hurt. Okay. You get hurt riding a fucking bike. Your bike falls down. Like, oh, so you skin your fucking knee on the pavement. Like it's the same fucking shit. You know what I mean? It's the same risk as you going out and doing it so long. I'm going to fucking scoop slam you on a bed. Well, guess what? You're probably going to fucking be a lot better off getting scoop slammed on a fucking bed compared to dragging your fucking knee down fucking gravel. You know what I mean? Like, that's why I try to tell people, like, you know, like, you, the fuck? Like, oh, I can't, my kid can do motocross, but yet he can't do fucking wrestling. Like, <laughs> really? Like, what the fuck? Like, dude, like, come on now. I know I'm retarded, but I'm not that retarded. <laughs> you uh you ever seen those uh uwf guys out in philly they got some crazy ass backyard oh, shit like mike divine whatever yeah yeah I, and mike divine's is fucking shit uh, i think i have nothing bad and like he calls everyone out bro and like i think it's fantastic because i've seen videos like with him with that kid osborne shit i seen like on that Oh, honestly, it was fucking hilarious i thought it was great because in, in all honesty i saw a kit in the back with a beer like this. Well, they're doing shit. So I was like, yeah, he got him. He got him. All of you Dave oh, Meltzer on. wannabe bloggers. All you, blo- all you blood marks and bloggers and fatties out there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Kids marks, fucking balls. Like, kid, kid, like, honestly, I think Kid's a great person. Like, he... But Mike ain't lying, bro. Like, I don't even think... But, like, I don't even think that kid does lie. Like, Marks, everything, he's just fatties. so fucking blunt, bro. And I love everything about it. It's fucking, it's great. And yeah, he don't I think give that, a fuck. Blood I think that is him. I think fatties. he really believes in himself that much. He is just talking shit. Yeah, like... Dave Meltzer, it's not, like, I think blogger. I think Mike's great. Honestly, I think he's fantastic. Blood Whatever. Like he, blood he's saying, dude, he gets more fans fatties. than some of the shows, like, I've been a part of. Like, straight up. Like, That's what I was just gonna say. It looks like he draws. 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was like, okay, so, and then I'm like, okay, then why are the rejects going there? A fucking independent, like, working for GCW. You know what I mean? They mm-hmm. work GCW, and guess what? Those motherfuckers are legit going to be doing UWF, and all these people shit on UWF for what? For fucking what? You can't do that now. What kind of shit are you going to say when fucking, like, now you got fucking legit independent wrestlers going to a fucking backyard show? And Mike has no problem telling people it's a fucking backyard show. Right, like, come on, dude. I thought it was pretty. Sick. I thought it was That's pretty. Sick when I seen the rejects were going to be there today too. What's that? I thought it was pretty sick when I seen the rejects were going to be there too. Yeah, dude. I, that's fantastic. Like, whatever, fucking dude. Like, I, I have nothing but good things to say about that kid, Mike. He's fucking dope. Good for him. Right. More places to work, the better. Um, what's the craziest altercation you've ever had with a fan? Oh man, I've had so many. Oh, oh, oh. dude, I'm notorious. Like, I swear to God, I don't know who's watching this from New England, but whew, Chad, <laughs> mm. if Chad's still watching this, I don't know why he hasn't been saying shit because, oh my God, <laughs> I can't even, fuck. dude, I might have to think a little bit. We, I've had a manager that would got fucking, what was it? This dude Beavis May, right? <laughs> oh no. Um, me and Billy were having a tag team match, and we're in, I think, Brewer, Maine. And legit, like this dude, fucking Chad. Chad took over, fucking Maine when he came to managing. This dude was like pretty much the core fucking dude that managed in Maine because like Maine was never a big fucking part of wrestling. Like it, they had it, but it wasn't like anything big. And this motherfucker was always there. Always fucking there. He was always at the shows. And Chad came with me and then blew everyone out of the fucking water when it came to managers. And this motherfucker is doing, um, <clears throat> what the fuck is it called? He's just doing merch for one of his boys at wrestles. And so I was like, oh my God. And then all of a sudden he's like, hey, asshole. And like, dude, you, and like, obviously he's been around forever. So he think he's just entitled to do shit. So this motherfucker like comes up to like near the fucking front row, like halfway um, to the, like, ring, like, right near the post, and I was like, yo, and then I guess he was uh, talking to me, and shit like that, because supposedly this fucking dude ended up having, um, I don't know, he, like, got in a fucking motorcycle accident, and, like, he couldn't hit his head, and he shouldn't be in the fucking wrestling ring, and then legit, I ended up fucking going, like, dude, I didn't fucking do it, I booted him right in the fucking face, dude, it's like, Yakuza kicked the fucking balls <laughs> out of the guy, and then all of a sudden, this guy, hey, asshole, and, uh, dude, I ended up chasing, they had to, like, legit, the whole match kind of went to fuck, like, right after that, because after I did that, everybody was like, yo, this guy's gonna kill you. And then, I don't know, what? Oh, but, like, yeah, that shit happened. It was pretty fucking wild, dude. He ended up fucking leaving the building and, like, didn't come back. I was like, damn. I was like, whatever. Fucking, and it's been a, there was another altercation at the same fucking building, what they were, which was a work, too. The fucking workers got me, bro. They fucking, oh, man. Um, <laughs> I, this little motherfucker named Jose ended up punching. I don't know if you ever heard of Main State Posse, but they've been yeah. making their, yeah, they're fucking phenomenal. Uh, they're, uh, one of them, like, re- really looked like he legit got fucking, hit, like, cracked right in the temple. It was one of the fucking... Like, dude, it was a kill shot. Like, this dude cracked him. And, like, dude, it was like a nice fucking small hook right to the fucking dude, right in the top. I'm like, yo. And so I snapped. One of the dudes was on the post from the outside because in the building they have the big poles. It was just for support. It's leaning on it, and they're all in the battle, bro. I was just looking out so I could go take a piss. But the battle, so I was like, oh, never mind. I can't because the fucking, um, the battle was right near the door. So I could be like, oh, you just wrestled. They can't, like, bust through the door. But that shit happened, and then I ended up fucking, like, going to see... And, like, dude, I clocked this dude right in the face. Like, it was one of the guys, and, you're like, he wasn't even really meant to, like, really do anything. Like, but I know they, he was one of them that was associated with those dudes, so I just cracked him. And, like, dude, fucking, he got spaghetti legs right on there. Uh, <laughs> right on the post. And, um, yeah, after that, I pretty much got... Fucking the dudes didn't want any part of me. Like, after that, and I got kicked out. I got kicked out, and a couple other people got kicked out. Actually, some fucking twat um, named Randy, like, got kicked out. Like, fucking, he wasn't shit. He was a fucking abortion to life. I don't even know how I, he was fucking still walking around, but. 
Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I've done, I've done a lot of altercations with fans. I'd have to say, like, I'm not like I don't care for fans. I, I don't. There's some fans like yo, know, like you, a couple other people, where it's like, like a genuinely cool person. But then you have the fans that try to get into the show, and like legit, I'll just knock you the fuck out. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't care. I don't. Like, oh, was a reaper out? Like, oh, you hit me at wrestling show, yo, you're gonna come in the ring. I'm gonna stomp you the fuck out, you and your bitch. You know what I mean? Like, that doesn't matter. I will fucking stomp on her fucking head. Like, don't have your ugly ass fucking ham hock eating ass bitch come in the ring. With, no, I will kick her in the mouth. You're not like that's the same thing with dudes. Like, you're gonna be like, you want to be a fucking wrestler coming there and be with it. I'm, I'm gonna let you know I'm wrestling you. I'm gonna fucking step on your neck. Straight up. Like, <laughs> sorry. The old school code, I believe in that, bro. Get in the ring, you get, get fucked up. Yeah, for real. What did you take on RSP's heel heat? Fucking fantastic. I like RSP better than Nick Cage. Like, straight up. That's straight up. With this heel heat, he fucking has it, bro. Like, that. that's like, it's it's too good. It's too fucking good. Like, on, I don't even watch the shows, but I see, like, the clips that you fucking guys share. And legit, that's my honest opinion. He's doing better shit. He's making that shit, like, more... Like, a lot of people, like, know what GCW is. Fantastic. Fucking about time. Because, honestly, a lot of it is because of RSP. Like, I know Nick Gage fucking tore shit up forever. But RSP is fucking doing some good shit with that. I like the story. Got me into it. Speaking of RSP and Nick Gage, would you ever work Gage? I already worked Gage at On Point. Did you? Yeah, four-way. Who else was in there? Uh, It was me, Devin Moore, Drew Blood, and Nick Gage. How'd that go? Oh, it was easy. Fucking Nick Gage took me, and that was pretty much it. Uh, he fucking he, he cracked me with the chairs a couple bit, uh, a couple times, and then he ended up powerbombing me through chairs. And that was pretty much it. Like, that's the altercation I got with him. Kick my ass. Give the man to us, bro. So, I do what I want when I want. Why a chainsaw? I don't know what the fuck. My Cody. record. Um, Check my uh, paper. Ch- Favorite weapon? Honestly, I'd have to see the gusset plate. I was really big on gusset plates, bro. Every match, like, dude, there were so many stipulations I did add gusset plates. And then I ended up making the gusset plate bat that Schlack fucking cracked me with. And, like, bro, the fucking... <laughs> he made a mark on me. I'll always remember Schlack for that shit. It doesn't even look bad. Like, none of, like, honestly, none of my scars look that bad anymore. It's fucking kind of crazy. A lot of guys don't like doing gusset plates. They say they hurt like a motherfucker. I guess it's pretty shitty. I'm gonna have to admit, like when I did that shit with Colt, and I think it was like it was like like a pallet board, bro. Like this board was thick as fuck, and legit, it was just gussets, but it was so many gussets on it. I was like, damn, they have like twenty gussets on this fucking thing. Like, oh my god, it was the same. And it's the same thing with fucking Brian Woods. I took a Spanish fly off the top rope to the outside, threw tables that had fucking gusset plates on it. That shit was retarded. Like fucking yeah, that fucking match, dude. It looked like I fucked you up too bad. Oh, dude, I was, yeah, it was pretty fucking intense. Oh, dude, I've had a tattoo since I was like 15 years old, bro. Like, <laughs> that's how, dude, Cody's so funny, dude. That's probably one of my favorite people I talk to on the internet, bro. Like, straight facts. I was talking, I was talking, like, dude, I think I've been talking to this fucking kid, Cody Hunter, longer than probably a lot of people. Like, legit, this motherfucker, like, dude, forever. Like, I love that fucking kid. He's so funny. Um, Yeah, he's a Detroit native, I believe. He's all about horse slam and all that up there. I talked to him a oh, little dude, bit. Horse, dude, dude, horse slam's becoming better and better every time they have shows. Straight up. I'm going to check out their show out on Fight. It looks raw as hell, dude. They got a lot of good matchups coming up. Oh, yeah. Um, this is your take on Ian Rotten as a promoter considering his controversial reputation. Oh, I already talked I already talked about it. I have not no issue with Ian Rotten. He did what I needed. He like he fucking treated me well. So I can't watch it. And his but like, hey, whatever he did to other people, I I, I don't know the situation, so I can't really say anything. But uh, well, um, you know his uh, reputation yeah. inappropriate. I won't uh answer Whatever. Me. That's him. Mm-hmm. He didn't do anything to me, so I can give a fuck less about his reputation. I don't really care to judge somebody like that. It's not not my place. Whatever he does to other people, it has nothing to do with me. So You've been around and you worked a pretty good uh, handful well, of promotions well, with a uh, good yeah, amount of people uh, now. Um, about, uh, who, who's out there right now that should be plugged that should, and people should be talking about that they ain't talking about? Who's going to be on the rise? Who should people be looking out for? Mitch, I honestly think Mitch Valiant. 
Um, I think Jeff Cannonball should be way more fucking places. Like, honestly, it just... It makes no sense that he's not in GCW more than he is. Because a motherfucker can do any like any different shit. Like, yeah, I've seen him do, like, Chicago shit. Every time I've wrestled Jeff Cannonball, bro, legit... Actually, he I know he says that, like, we didn't do a death match, but legit, we did hardcore shit. Like, we did weapons in fucking Maine. But... When we did Rhode Island, it was straight regular shit. Like, bro, like we didn't do shit but regular stuff. I was like, wow, and I was like, damn, I, I didn't, I would have never thought they were gonna put me and Cannonball at the time when we were both tearing it up, doing a fucking death matches that like it was gonna come to us doing some regular shit. It was weird as fuck. I was like, uh, okay, like, it, but it was dope. Can't complain. Um, who on the death match scene you think's got the best promo? Oh man, probably Tremont. Oh no, honestly, yeah, I gotta go with Tremont. Who's uh, who's got the best entrance in Deathmatch? I gotta go with June Kasai. I think Kasai. Um, who do you think's got the best look? Who's got the best gear? Who just looks like they should? They're a fucking Deathmatch guy. Sure. Honestly, I like Raver. Uh, I I gotta go with Raver. I don't know. He just he just like I don't know. I kind of looked like I dressed like Raver too sometimes, but he wear like pants and shit. But yeah, like everybody like dude like death matches. I realize like a lot of people don't dress fancy. You know what I mean? Like it, when it came to like fucking shit like that, I never really like checked people's gear out. Like I don't know. Can't really say. Like every actually, I gotta go with Jun Kasai when he wears his trunks because that's just fucking ridiculous. Like when he does the bear, like he, yeah, he, I gotta go June Kasai when he wears fucking the little fucking tidy whiteies. <laughs> I think, uh, Schlack, dude, when you just look at Schlack, dude, he just screams deathmatch worker. Like everything about Schlack is fucking deathmatch, dude. Yeah, true story. <laughs> true. <clears throat> um, what's your thoughts on like, uh, like big ass deathmatch tournaments, like one day tournament versus two day tournaments? Honestly, I would be all about. I never was part of a two day tournament, so I have no idea. But like, legit, I would like the one day tournaments are pretty fucking ruthless. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. When I did the three death matches in a fucking day at IWA, that shit was rugged. Uh, that shit was pretty fucking rugged. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I was fucking haggard. Yeah, but I'd have honestly. I think if I wanted to do it, I'd probably go with a two day just because you have a little bit of rest, you can clean up and shit like that. Oh. The Kato's, yeah, it was fucking disgusting. It was, uh, like, honestly, like, I was astounded by it. Like, I had the old face. Everybody's got merch out there now, dude. Who do you think's got the coolest merch out there? The coolest merch. I do, like, a lot of Raver shirts. Raver shirts are pretty dope. Um, Casanova shit's pretty cool. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, um, I like Shit. You got any Rob Marsh uh, merch still out there anywhere anybody can get? Uh, I can't even remember, like, fucking the site. Uh, like, I think fucking my boy Billy would have it. I wasn't really big on the merch shit. I didn't care. Right on. Bro, you talking? Oh, Cody Hunter talking about the fucking air. The air belt. The most prestigious fucking title in all of Michigan. <laughs> that it is. <laughs> that um, it is. <laughs> uh the weed whacker bro would would you take a weed whacker <coughs> absolutely that absolutely i think like, honestly i think butcher knives make the fucking weed whacker fucking child's play straight up oh shit huh like honestly straight up like honestly i think taking the uh fucking butcher knives was by far one of the craziest spots i've ever done if not the craziest speaking of weed what's uh what's the weed scene up like you in in your neck of the woods <laughs> For, uh, really well, it's Matt, dude. We're like, I'm right near Mass, so I'm straight. You know what I mean? It's fucking it, and Maine, dude. They're both, yeah. We're good. Everything's fucking dandy. If I could show you my shit, but I have my kids here, so obviously I'm not gonna be like, all right, look at my stash. Right. 
You got some good edibles up that way? Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's why I just had to add a fucking two pieces of uh, a Snickers bar before I right. did this. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the uh, who's the coolest dude on the deathmatch scene to smoke with? Oh, fuck. Honestly, I like smoke. Like I know he's not a deathmatch dude, but I have to say, Ruckus. Honestly, like I when I like all about it, like that was my shit. But like Ruckus was definitely the top dude. I think I've smoked with him because deathmatch wise, uh, Blackout was the shit back in the day. Oh yeah, I think I might have to go and Neil Diamond Cutter. Honestly. Neil Diamond Cutter. He's a big I, fan I, of the I, Death Hour. Oh, dude. Love him. Love him. Um, Anybody from the Deathmatch scene or anybody from wrestling in general you still kick it with now that you're kind of sitting out on the sideline? I talk to Louie all the time. I talk to Louie all the time, Mitch Valiant. Um, those are pretty much the most I talk to the most. So I got honestly like when it, but when, yeah, those two. Um, I know before you said you, you were straight up, you were just done with death matches, but you you mean to tell me, bro, if GCW called you tomorrow or Zona called you or freedoms or big Japan called you tomorrow, you wouldn't fucking be down. No, hundred percent. Nope. Nope. I like, dude, I have family values. Like, dude, I wouldn't know. Like it would legit be to the point where like, I'd probably lose my kid over it. No, it's just not worth it. Right on. That's good to know. Um, I guess, uh, I'm going to throw, uh, this into, uh, our final segment here before I let you go, because, uh, we're well over the hour mark here. I'm going to throw we? the word. Yeah. We're, uh, we're over an hour already. <laughs> um, I'm going to throw the word association battle Royal at you, bro. I'm going to throw some names at you. Just shoot me some oh, thoughts word. about the person. Word. All right. First guy I got up on deck is, uh, Teddy Hart. You think he was, he was bedazzled in his jail cell lately or what? <laughs> Bro, you know what's funny? That motherfucker ended up, <laughs> probably. That motherfucker <laughs> ended up he was at a show in fucking Maine, right, for IWE. And that motherfucker like took my kick pads. Like uh, like let him have it, but like legit, like he wore him forever. Like he came in his gear and like he just I don't know. Teddy's a fucking character, bro. That's all I know. Fucking whatever. Though. Guys, remember to keep getting ready for the them? Olympics. My friend right Actually, now. yeah, I did. Actually, no. Hell no. Actually, with smoking, no. I got to go with Sabu when I smoked him in mass. I got to pee, so I'm going to pee. Don't fucking doubt the game. Don't doubt the fucking bank. Oh, Not shit. Now we're getting game. real. Guys, remember to keep getting ready for the care. Olympics. <laughs> My friend right here. Don't all right, bro. Uh, what, do you, what do you think about Too Tough Tony? You can't bet on the game. Because Never met him. Didn't talk to him. And smoking fucking. But I think he's pretty dope. You ever seen that one? The WWE movie? Oh. Where all the guys um, that worked their Cool. Balls Look at what Chad said. <laughs> he can't my stream. Chad Epic says he's got all the Marsh merch we need. I think it's legit just a shirt. Legit, it's just my fucking head on the shirt taking the syringes. I do remember that shirt vaguely. Yep, I have that. But he has them, so. Is it I think it was uh, Pro Wrestling Tees actually has it. Might have to get me one of those. Yeah, we actually did death matches. <laughs> uh, um, the next guy that I'm going to talk to you about, Rob. Um, what about the viral sensation? Um, the heart and soul of the Deep South, right now, little Donnie. Would you go shoot style with that fool? I think it'd be comical. Honestly, I think it'd be mad fucking funny. Hell yeah. Uh, are you, what is it, Cody, dude? Cody's retarded. I could have used someone to help my memory. Oh, with the... um, <clears throat> Motherfucker took a brownie at a show and fucking... Oh, you got 8x10s too? That's cool. Fucking awesome. I didn't know. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> what's uh? What's your thoughts on Danny Havoc, bro? How about him coming back to Japan and then uh, working at one GCW was, like, show? That was dope as fuck. Super excited, bro. I was, honestly, I was super fucking excited because legit, he was one of, always one of the dudes I always wanted to work. Legit. Always. What's your thoughts on Drake Younger? Always love Drake Younger. Good shit. Good for him for fucking not putting his body through shit anymore and legit getting paid probably way more money to be a fucking referee in the biggest company in all the fucking world. Of course. 
Smart man. <laughs> um, what's your thoughts on the American Giant? I don't. I've never. Honestly, I can't say I've ever, ever got into him. So did I, you see it? Did you see his interview with us on on the Death Hour? I watched it for maybe like three minutes. Honestly, you know, like, I do not like it. Scary. You're like it's fucking uh, like well, it's just well, something you know, like uh, he's just a weird looking motherfucker. Like, I mean, he reminds me of like that you? transvestite that's on polio that dances in a fucking tutu and shit. You know, like, he always, you like he's just fucking weird looking. He do, like, I, I'm not trying to be a dick or anything, but, like, some people, when they, like, so, look so fucking weird, I'm just like, nah, I'm good. Like, I take myself out of situations where I just know I'm going to be a piece of shit in. So I just don't fuck it. Like, I just don't fuck with it. I'm just like, nah. Like, I know it sounds ignorant, but, yeah, it's, it's ignorant to say it, but it's true. I just like fucking weird. Like, yo, what the fuck's wrong with your face? Like, I don't mean it. That's just natural reactions. <laughs> Transvestite, bro. He's a fucking chick magnet. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> no, I, uh, I don't. Uh, I don't uh, know him. So know, uh, I'm fucking clueless. Are uh, you? I don't care. Are you serious? <laughs> he talked a lot of shit about deathmatch wrestling. I'll just tell you that. Um, uh, the fuck was he on it? Uh, the, I think last week he was on talking a lot of shit. Uh, um, it wasn't that long ago. Honestly, I'll send you the I link later. Not- um. What? What do you think about John Moxley, bro? Uh, he just won the AEW title. I saw are that. You, He's fucking dope. Are you serious? I've always liked him. I've always, I, ever, even when he was doing his shit at CZW, always a fan. What about uh, Scotty Vortex? Fucking awesome. Uh, what, like, what's up with him? Like, dude, like, I know you guys fucking get the scoop on like pretty much all that bullshit. Like, anything that happens. Like, you guys are working good with that. But, uh... Like, legit, he, like, did a GCW show, like, a couple GCW shows, and then just, like, falls off the face of the planet. It's like, yo, what the fuck? Like, you come back for shit, and then you just leave. Like, I'm no one to talk, but I'm not as higher up as fucking, like, Scotty Vortex was, you know what I mean? Like, he was at the NGI3 show, and then, I could be wrong, but I think he's doing the family thing now. I think he got married and had a kid, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's, like, pretty much I'm on the same boat with that shit. You know, like, it pretty much it's this. I'm doing the same shit. You know what I mean? Like, that's pretty much what it is. All right. And the last and final name I got for you, the God of Ultraviolence, Nick fucking Gage. Uh, I will tell you straight up that he's probably one of my favorite wrestlers. And yeah, uh, my middle son is named Gage, like just because of Nick Gage. So yeah, that, like it tells you how much I've liked Nick Gage in my fucking lifetime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right on. I guess uh, the final thing that I'll say to you, I'm going to pull the old Charlie Murphy on you, and I'm going to say, fuck your couch, darkness. Fuck your couch. <laughs> fuck your couch, nigga. <laughs> Should I never gave you money. You don't appreciate shit. <laughs> yeah, I love <laughs> All right, bro. Uh, like I said, we're over the hour mark. I'm going to let you go. You got work in the morning, right? Oh, yeah. But whatever. All right. Uh, I, I just want to thank you for coming on with us, dude. I enjoyed right. it. Word up, buddy. All right. I'll talk to you. All right. Later. Peace. I know the truth is that I'm on my own in this life I gotta be ruthless, I know my opponents is right 
What is it that I got left in my tank? Bet on myself with the rest of my bank. This passion and hatred, I smash it and break it. And I got my anger and effort to thank. What is it deeper that's driving me further? I couldn't sleep, I was high from the fur. But haven't you heard? I got a nerve, I got a knack for surviving the murder. I'm coming back with a fever, you'll be believing soon. He's a goon. Keep the ethos of a wolf and too close, but as soon as I see the moon, I'm full of greed and doom, deceiving. What does it even mean in tomb? I got a grievance, I can just leave it. Boom, as soon as I leave the room, I'm on his craftsmanship again. I'm an assassin with the pen. This no accident, it's accessing, collapsing on your chin. I got an axe to pick again. You know the factions that 